forums SaaS documentation and uh, it uh, uh, i think SaaS documentation is something most of us basically work either for a SaaS product company or else probably we are aware about what is SaaS documentation and we know about technical documentation because most of us are either technical writers or content writers here at least in this room and so that then the question is why do we so much talk about SaaS documentation that okay do you know SaaS documentation i have often heard this question i know technical documentation now what what is so special about SaaS documentation so whatever skill do i possess for technical documentation isn't that enough to be a SaaS documentation writer. So the discussion I will open to you all that in your view, if you have been working, I'm sure many of you, what do you think all the fuss is about? So in case you need some pointers, so probably we can also think about, first of all, when I think about SaaS documentation, then you know the how it is written, S-A-A-S, and if you all know Hindi, so in Hindi, there is a word called SAS, SAS Bahuke, interesting stories, okay? So first thought, it may be, if it is so troublesome, is it the name, has the name been taken or motivated from the Hindi word SAS? Or else, if it's not so, then the pronunciation goes like SAS that you can twist as per your convenience. As you can see, either you can say SAS or you can say SASI. In both ways, it's actually very helpful and required. So that's the basics I'll leave it. And so anybody who wants to come ahead, discuss about the benefits, what they're doing, about the challenges, processes, tools, anything, open to all. You guys can unmute yourself and speak. Probably to start with, what is this, what what do we mean by SaaS documentation? Anybody would like to start with that? So SaaS is basically uh, deployed at uh, you know that vendor's end, and you actually you are using uh, others infrastructure and other. It's basically on cloud, so you are using other infrastructure. You are just hosting. You are using your browser and uh, everything database. Everything is with the client only. Awesome. Any other thoughts? Oh, who is this? Could, could you please tell your name also? Ravi Chandra. Hey, Ravi. Thank Ravi. you. Yeah, Ravi. Anybody else? SaaS documentation, benefits, challenges? Uh, Hi. Uh, can you come on again? Your name got I missed. Uh, uh, one is Abhilash here. Can you yeah, speak? Abhilash. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, SaaS. Uh, documentation I have been working for so three four years I just know so as, as the previous uh, you know guy told us that uh, what SaaS is I was very using other infra I mean, companies infrastructure and then we use the browser to make the to complete our documentation so currently I use uh, uh, readme.io so that is a site and then uh, the best part of be using uh, SaaS documentation is you don't have to worry about anything else like you know public uh, you know publishing or content or whatever you call whatever the, you, you we have been talking in the data or uh, on the unstructured document you just have to write the content following their rule so generally in SAS doc documentation we, we use markup um, the markdown language uh, kind of thing and then you publish it so it's very easy to you know you know uh, you know, manage documentation. You don't have to worry about any kind of you know management, the content and all that. Just do you uh, understand your topic, content, publish it. I mean, write it and uh, correct it, publish it. And the, and the publishing is very instant. Right now, you it's just like save, save and save as you say. You save the content. You write the content, save the content, and it is published uh, within no no time. That is my my experience that I've been. Amazing. Doing. That's uh, that makes it so easy when you say it's so easy. So how many others think think it's very easy? I mean, basically the first term SaaS doesn't apply, so it's SaaS and SASI. How many of you do think it's very easy in terms of processes and tools uh, used in it? Anybody else? I would say that comes with a, a price that way. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you have, if you have the pricing, uh, you don't have a price uh, factor. It is better to go with fast documentation. It uh, uh, you know don't have to pay the you know license uh, license of the software. No, pricing is fine, Abhilash. The main thing is if you are working in a company which has a SaaS product, right? Your document has to be SaaS documentation, right? It's as simple as that. Yeah. Right. So, right. So pricing doesn't matter. It's not our choice because we don't open companies. We work for companies. Yeah, true. But again, your end of the day, technical matters do decide on whether exactly. to. Exactly. <laughs> uh, agree. Yeah, you have to make them understand that how what is the benefits of it, how how or what is the ROI of it. So if that, but it, it does uh, you know simplify our uh, part of the job. Um, that is for sure. Exactly. Yeah. That's certainly a big process of making a good decision about the tools. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, cool. the, the future, the future is in uh, as stuff. As all the products are stack based. Right. Anybody else wants to share? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Let's press that again. So it's a. Uh, uh, even I was wondering, like, what is the SaaS documentation? <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, so my understanding is like the way you mentioned, right? Uh, basically, uh, if your product is a, is, a, is, a, is like a software as a service product, which is which is on the web, and uh, you don't really maintain multiple versions of the product, and customers are always on the latest version. Yes, uh, in that case, uh, it's a good thing because you don't need to worry about all those things which uh, he mentioned. So that way, it is it is easy. You just document and publish and. Uh, uh, then in that in those scenarios is you don't need all those tools or conditions or all that we spoke about it. So yeah, that's my no, understanding. No, no, my experience is that we can have multiple versions in the SaaS documentation as well. I do maintain a number of uh, more than three versions uh, for different uh, products. Okay, okay, yeah, that's that's again a learning for me. Mm -hmm. It's um, the versioning is also very easy. You know, cloning okay. the uh, content and all that. I'm just, and tools do allow these versioning. So, whatever tools yeah. you use. No, no. I mean, the, it is inbuilt. That's that's you know, uh, uh, click and drop. So, in SaaS yeah. documentation, you don't have to worry much about document. I mean, the versioning as well. You can have as much as version you want, and that is that is right. condition. Uh, you can refer uh, readme.io uh, for a you know. Anybody who wants to have a look at SaaS documentation and all that, it's a 15 days trial. So, yeah, you can have it. Yep. That is what best one that I have come across and I have been using it. Right. So, by, while using SaaS documentation, guys, anybody else? So, what is the key benefits you see? I mean, if you, uh, when you are using SaaS documentation properly for your organization, so in terms of your technical documentation team output or in terms of your visibility in the company, do you see any difference? Do you, do you feel there is some benefit of using SaaS documentation from that perspective? Do I need to answer? Anybody can answer. The audience is very quiet. What do you, uh, are you guys not using SaaS? I mean, I think that today, in today's world, most of us are into SaaS. So I hope, I mean, please feel free to share anything that you have. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, Vilash. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. Uh, basically, the best part of the uh, part of using SAS documentation is uh, you can have instant pub uh, publishing. Whatever the correction, if somebody points out some error kind of thing, you can just uh, you know uh, with a with a fraction of a second you can just uh, make the changes and save it, and then that reflects uh, on the you know it is published and reflects back on the uh, on the you know uh, help section. And the best part uh, again would be. If somebody wants to make some changes, yeah, like no revision. I think we lost you, Abhilash. Others can hear me. I can't hear Abhilash. We can hear you. Okay, so I think we lost him. Uh, let him come back. In the meanwhile, anybody else? So, like one point is. Uh, when using SaaS documentation, okay, so customer onboarding is pretty fast. 
that is one thing generally people say okay when we use technical documentation in a proper way so documentation is not a replacement for customer onboarding the customer onboarding process will go on but it's just that documentation facilitates that that's what i understand apart from many other things okay so in terms of using saas documentation does anyone have a story to tell about challenges they faced challenges in the team or as an individual want to so share here, here we are yeah. discussing about documenting a saas product or documentation as a whole on a uh, saas environment like abilash was documenting a saas, a SaaS okay let's keep it uh, let's simplify yeah. documenting a saas product yeah i mean how is it different from documenting an on prem and a saas product maybe we can right. start exactly. discussing about that All right okay take that point anybody wants to jump in how is it different hmm so as you were saying before uh, the customer onboarding is much more uh, simple in terms of when it comes to saas products maybe because because the subscription model is a little different from on prem to saas uh, yeah. and you regularly interact with your customers and yeah. uh, having a solid saas product documentation um, directly contributes towards so uh, building a strong ongoing relationship with your customers and they for it reduces churn so and it's scalable like you one of your points said okay so based on the changes the saas uh, uh, product documentation is very much scalable and you keep on yes. changing all the time so that that helps your team doesn't have to wait for you know a complete, complete release cycle release. yeah just to that okay we will provide documentation after 6 months yeah that's not the case so this is uh, one uh, very good thing uh, it keeps us on the toe basically all the time but still i think from overall perspective i feel that's good because as a documentation team also what we need is visibility right if we yeah. get in sync with the team or business goal then that's what earns us some respect also and we also feel proud of that that okay customer is getting directly helped otherwise people say that okay documentation uh, on prem environment is like that only documentation is the last requirement nobody uses it that's what people generally say yeah it's just like a tick mark is a check box for most of the yeah. uh, just because there are guidelines that you should have technical documentation that's why that's what the previous feel was i feel saas has changed that yes yeah i mean uh, there are also variety of documents that you go i mean that you have when you have a saas delivery maybe a release document or what's new or maybe a quick blog post about what has been released or what you have to learn in this new uh, version or a new release of the product so yep. the set of documents might differ from the regular uh, on prem documents to the saas documents right so basically these are the things uh, like what the you knowledge mentioned. based how to, content how to yeah. implement what all to do yes exactly yeah so it's uh, also help uh, in saas documentation sorry uh, can you start i didn't get what it says yeah, um, i need to say vapru videos also help in um, in creating uh, small videos about new features and what the products and features that might help uh, in uh, saas documentation yes. all right visuals basically yeah no shall yeah. i answer yeah go ahead uh, yeah so visuals and all that just like we have screenshots and all that uh, we cannot use um, multimedia in uh, as of now readme does not allow uh, uses of multimedia but at the max you can use uh, gif uh, uh kind of thing uh and the screenshots are not much on that I, uh, that is so my not exactly to embed in the documentation but um, apart from documentation uh, creating wakmi wakro videos uh, uh, is yeah. important i guess yeah this is just like creating a topic based uh, you know video just like topic based authoring topic based videos kind of thing 
Yeah, and in general also documentation, when we say documentation, it's not only content anymore. So you yeah. have to find your way, okay. So basically content, uh, so content we can simply say, if we say like this, categorize like this, text, audio, and visual. So all these videos and everything goes under visual. So how we are going to use and place, that's uh, individual challenge and planning, but yes, all these are required. And it also doesn't make sense if you're releasing your worst first version of your product, it doesn't make more sense to have a video documentation in place in your first release itself. Maybe when the product gets matured, uh, you might you might have to think about videos, but at the nascent stage of the project, uh, uh, videos might not make really sense. Yeah, many say in that uh, at the nascent stage, video probably creates more problem only because your product yeah. is evolving. Evolving. You can't, you can't change yeah. your videos daily. No, yes. and uh, it's not that easy to make a video as, uh, as such. It take it, it's quite a, uh, a time consuming uh, activity. Right. So apart from all that, okay, guys. So like, if we have to think about how we talked about SaaS documentation and many things. So technically, yes, we are technical documentation or writer. We are writers overall. We know what we are doing. So whether it's on-prem or whether it's SaaS, but then we do have to differentiate how we are going to excel in SaaS. And so probably when we, it comes to implementation. So one thing is very clear that you have to be always on your toe. You have to be always ready to update the documents. It has to be proper. Now document again, when I say it implies whatever you are following content, video, audio, whatever you want, or a mix of all. And probably one, uh, uh, what do you guys think about collaboration? Like when we talk about technical documentation, we always want the technical documentation control in our hand. We don't want anybody else to write. Although we know even they provide input, the final write-up will be ours. But then one of the key things that I have noticed in many companies is collaboration. For example, there is a PM. That PM is an expert. So there are SMEs. For, and to make these faster updates for everything you can't write immediately. So one process people tell is that, okay, collaborate with these SMEs and tell them to write something. They can provide the write-up and you can do the polishing that saves time and as well as helps right to stay you know place the right content any thoughts about this kind of collaboration with you guys yeah Puneet, as you rightly said collaboration is the main key when you work in a SaaS environment because things are changing every day so it is important to take part in any planning meetings or any or when, when there is a change in the feature uh, have a regular update if you can be a part of your right a scrum or a stand up that you have be a part of it or be in regular touch with your developers and QA or if you have any um, uh, project management tool in place get access to it see how things are changing I mean those would be pretty uh, self understandable project management tools like Jira or Azure DevOps or whatsoever that the company is using if you can have a quick glance to it and also maybe of all this in place you would also have your uh, documentation task uh, attached to your uh, feature which is going on in that particular sprint so i mean yeah collaboration is the main thing and the virtual collaboration is through through the project management tool in place right uh, sh uh, sh uh, sh shall i uh, add to yeah, yeah, please go ahead. With, uh, what is my experience with the SaaS documentation is it is a very useful uh, tool uh, when it comes to API documentation. And so that is where uh, all our SMEs or our developers can really contribute, which uh, where we uh, technical writers lack. Like, you know, they can add the, you know, API codes for a different, uh, you know, languages and all that, where we need to take it from them and then we, you know, copy paste and then ask them for a review. They can directly do it. I'm saying collaboration with them on API documentation might be a re really great uh, with the SaaS documentation. Okay. A any other thoughts, guys? Any other voice we can hear? The audience are pretty silent today. I don't know. I, I, I never thought this topic is going to be so difficult. I thought it's <laughs> <so. laughs> okay. So 
not yeah. much people are using a sas documentation i believe I mean, this was my first uh, and like so but i don't uh, being in technical documentation and interacting with so many people i don't think that should be the reality but anyway not a problem so maybe the others can uh, speak when they want so few things like uh, i, I would one like one more thing to add yeah please go ahead uh, so uh, in my current organization um, as uh, opposed to the traditional uh, software documentation in saas we have um, an all the more uh, collaborative approach with the smes and our pm team in the sense that documentation now the documentation tasks and epics in jira now actually become a part of the uh, the overall uh, development uh, jira and the epic uh -huh. you know so they cannot close the sprint cycle unless the documentation uh, epics and uh, jiras are addressed which is right. not the case in uh, traditional talk uh, uh, right, right. Yeah, that's the beauty of agile. So, if the yeah, are yeah. following it properly, and there you yeah. have to fight a lot for to get to exactly. this, isn't it? To get it? Right, right. The fight is stronger. <laughs> me too. Me yeah. too. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, and that's a very interesting development, I will say. I mean, I whenever I hear these things from people, you know, I feel so good because most of the time I keep hearing, at least in the past, not so much right now. In the past, when I used to, people always used to say, "Doc is not getting importance." We are, you exactly. know, exactly. Yeah. So guys, yeah. these but these are the things. Is, yeah. 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 This is changing now. Yeah. 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 I think uh, Doc has got more importance in a product-based company rather than in a service-based company. That is another question, big question. But yes, what uh, what I see from different people's experience also, yes, it is true that Doc doesn't Doc is not considered that important. But if you try well, if you plan well, and if you actually contribute instead of being just reactive. You get more respect. That's all I have seen. I have worked in the companies where Doc was not getting importance at all, and uh, over a period of time, when we started contributing slowly, the importance increased. So it's also and participation also I think is key. Exactly. Like, uh, I mean, you said participating in the uh, scrum meetings and you know review exactly. meetings and yeah, we had a session on that. That's what the all thing. We can't just sit back on our seat and say please. Provide me this, please. Provide me this. We also, have. so I'm so, not saying everywhere it's like uh, people's challenge, but yes, few things we also need to do from end, our end, and few things org also needs to do this. And uh, so I think we have already stretched a lot of time. So few more things I would uh, like people to speak about just to conclude, make this topic for anybody who is hearing SaaS documentation for the first time to make that. So processes and tools, guys. Of course, you can, uh, you know. Uh, explore a lot on uh, this tomorrow someday if we have a full session we will talk about it but now the main thing is uh, like when we say uh, says documentation if i ask a basic question like how do you implement it or I think in whether you say what do i need uh, what do i need to know to write for says if that sounds a basic question then somebody I think um, uh, data is the only way to go in my experience, as long as my experience of data as a process. Goes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, basically, because, uh, time topic based. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Because we write more detailed topic based uh, documentation for SaaS as compared to traditional documentation. So, data, I think, is the only so way. So, primarily, when we say data, when, then can I simply make it equal to a structured documentation? Yeah. Not exactly. Uh, not really. Yeah, not really because uh, I have not. Also, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. What, what when I said data, I meant that more of topic based writing. You know, like nothing more, but like, structured. Focused. No. Yeah. No, topic based. Topic based writing. That's it. It's topic based writing. You choose right. or you. Okay. Probably uh, I use the wrong word. How about twisting it and just saying. If we know how to structure our documents, that's yeah. the first thing we need to know how to write for SAS. Now, is that better? I'm not saying structured documents. I am saying how to right. structure our documents. Right. Right. Structure right. our content, you can say, uh, more than a document. Because again, there is a hierarchy. I know Abhilash. Abhilash, <laughs> here are two points. Structure, when you will structure your content, you are talking about a particular topic, right? 
Is that right, Abhilash? Yeah. But when you talk about topics, so first thing, like in SAS Atlas or any model, we, we say is you need to know the priority because you will keep getting, at least in SAS, it gets very challenging because everybody needs everything immediately. Mm. So, so now mm. in that case, you need to prioritize that what is what should go. You will have a list of 100 topics, for example. But yes. this is where I am saying that number one, you need to have your requirements very clear and you need to know that, OK, how we are basically going to use it, which topics to prioritize. We will create probably all, but which topics to prioritize that I think probably is the key and that only leads to proactive versus reactive documentation. What are you going to prioritize? Reactive doc, I hope it's clear, proactive versus reactive. Reactive documentation is you receive customer complaints and then you keep creating documents, okay? You re receive requests from customers through various channels, whether it's support team, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, your field uh, customer facing teams, and then you create documentation that is called reactive documentation. Proactive documentation is you keep yourself in the shoes of the customer and then you visualize what should they need. So by the time your customer or somebody who is going to convert a lead they read your documentation, they know well in advance what your product has. So we have to prioritize and we need to have this proactive versus reactive documentation. Uh, we need to decide that. And yes, once we come to the topic level, then yeah, all that content structure and all is required. I would say I have done uh, I'm just hybrid, you can say. I have uh, documented the product on page level as well as tutorial level as well as topic level. So, uh, 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 it, it, it is like you know what kind of what how much of content do you want to push in and what kind of information how do you that's where, uh, right that's where the priority lies right you decide yeah, the priority yeah. Yeah, no, uh, yeah so yeah, i have done almost everything i have used the same thing for uh, api documentation as well i have used right. same for topic based authoring i have used the same for page level right how important is it to follow analytics in sas documentation Google Analytics or any other analytics. How much? At least read me. I have used your analytics. How much? The page visits. It's not about read. It's not about just read me. I'm talking about SaaS documentation. In documentation, how much important is it for us to use analytics data? Analytics and feedback both play a major. Yeah. yeah. Analytics will give you the. You know, that voice. Somebody's. Uh, one second, Abhilash. Somebody's trying to speak. I can't hear. Who's this? So anything like. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. So yeah. I was telling like uh, anything like you know analytics like any even feedback or um, uh, as one of my friend was also saying like any kind of response from the customer is very really important for a user. To find out whether it's a requirement or it's an issue, and then right. uh, do a uh, then do the documentation for that. Right. So analytics exactly. also help us uh, to see what most most users are looking out for, or where the most uh, traffic is coming, which article right. are they are more interested in. Maybe we that that would help us to create more content, or maybe if you are planning to do a video topic, maybe that can be the one that can be picked up uh, the most viewed article or the most viewed topic. Right. Awesome. Yeah. 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 I think that's that point. Yeah. yeah. So what happens and, is, uh, let us use the us a view at 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 which point of uh, content uh, content is the user looking at. And if you can provide more details about it in various forms. Exactly. I think this is where in analytics you can see those search terms, right? What yes. search queries. Yeah. So the importance of search query crea creating a data about that search query because that tells a lot about what user is looking for. Looking for. Yeah. Cool. Wonderful. That's quite a good knowledge. Anything else anybody has? to share, talk about this. And uh, one thing uh, in addition, apart from all what documents we are writing, like somebody mentioned, uh, you know, uh, for keeping focused on the topics and all. So topics also 
it's like try to keep your topics for one answering one question only don't answer too many things in one topic because yeah. sas is all about simplicity and easy flowing information it should be written in a language that's very easy for customers to understand so probably at times we have to forget about our strict technical documentation guidelines of writing also we might go ahead use simple content writing type word also not too much but we prepare a mix it's all about simplicity the topics should not be big be big unless That's it's what prasad was mentioning in the morning today it should be short and long enough to answer something it, it shouldn't be too exactly. long or too short yeah then independent topics basically independent on its yeah. own yeah. yeah yeah right because one thing to understand for all of us from a writer's perspective which we can go ahead and fight well, not exactly fight but we can talk about and show logic to management or people who want long long topics tell them that docu nobody documentation is not a novel or movie nobody comes there to pass time they come i don't think nobody would ask for a lengthy document yeah no, uh, nobody know many times uh, you do see even organizations such fight why do you need a small small topics and all so kb yeah. articles so and so because people are already troubled by software they have some issue that's why they have come to documentation now if you don't give them direct answer they will be further pissed off so yes. just give them direct answer easy to understand answer there can be different ways of it but yeah these are some things and also um, but again limited that... one sec abhish abhilash yeah please go ahead yeah so uh, we are limited by time and uh, you know resource oh, yeah that's all kind of, yeah and kind of support you the stock management wants to give to you because i have observed that in a product based company when we have a uh, very detailed documentation it reduces the support cost Or right. most, of support, more, most of the support calls are directed to documentation, and if things are really good. Right. Yeah. Somebody was saying something. Yeah. No, I was saying also a best practice in our organization for SaaS documentation is that not to provide too many links in one topic to refer people from, like jumping, you know, mm -hmm. like referring people to different topics and try to answer everything at once. Right. One topic. yeah that's a good good point okay so i hope these points 